Hey everybody, George Don George's Kentucky Workshop. Well, we got Miss Jojo's little red Hyundai in here today. Uh, last time we were off, she said she heard a funny little grinding sound. I took the car for a ride. I thought it was the front brake pads. Well, lo and behold, I probably did brake pads on this thing probably about 70, 80,000 miles ago. Guess what? There's the brake pads. There's the old one and the new one. Yeah, they look a little different. Wait till I stand them up on edge. You see the difference between the thickness of those two brake pads? Yes, you do. She was right. I had one, I had one of the old ones that had the wear sensor on it that when it wears so far down, it comes in contact with the rotor. I had it in my hand. I was going to show it to you all, and I don't know what I did with it. But anyhow, these are semi-metallic in her that I put on the last time, which means they wear really good, but they're kind of tough on the rotors. Here's her rotor. The rotors are not warped at all. You don't turn these things. You put new ones on. But these are the original rotors that came on this car. This car is a 2005, and it's coming up 200,000 miles. What it did have on it was it had a little edge around here, a sharp little edge, where this surface has worn and this surface didn't. Out here, it doesn't come in contact with the brake pad. And all I do is I take my grinder and I give that a quick little grind right around the edge. I rotate it, give it a quick little grind just to knock that edge off. And took my bike, yes, that little red crotch rocket device with the blue bottle I have. Took that up to O'Reilly's, picked her up, picked her up a brand new set of brake pads. It's like $13 for a set of semi-metallic brake pads for this, which will go another 70,000 miles. Well, that's about it, folks. Miss Jojo got her a heat press. I made a little video about that. Uh, she's up the house studying the manual now and cutting some stuff out, out of scraps, so she can try it. But I already got one side done on the other side. I got the outside already put all back together. Right there. All back together. And I'm going to put this side together. It'll take me about another half an hour to have it all buttoned back up. I got to do a constant velocity shaft on those CV shafts. This one over here on this side, the driver's side, is making a ticking sound every now and then. And if I'm going to do one, I might as well do both sides. Never done one, so let alone do two. So, how hard can it be? With everything that I have in George's Kentucky Workshop here, including a metal, including a milling machine, welders, welders, hydraulic press, sewing machines, what can't we fix? So. Well, that's about it. I'm going to button this puppy back up, give her a call, have her come down, try it out. She'll have a smile on her face. And then I think I'm going to take my compressor tank here. There's the piece of plate. Compliments of Bob Drake. Thanks, Bob. And we're going to take this big old monster compressor tank outside. And we, I think we're going to mark it, and I think we're going to cut it today, I think. But then again, that could change. I'm an old guy. Things change. There's that crazy heat press of hers. So, there's the plaque for in front of the house here that's going to say the island on it. Referring to when we go on vacation, we go to the island. The island of Simpsonia out here. Okay, everybody, I'm just rambling. Coming up to five minutes. It'll take all night to upload this. Okay, everybody, be a proud American. We are. And subscribe. If you can help somebody, please do so. Thanks.